This is the Mission Paintball plug and play game, which was released in 2004 by Tiger Games. And what's funny is that while I never owned this one as a kid, I did own a couple of plug and play games myself as a kid around that time frame. Uh, I did own a Star Wars one, I owned a SpongeBob one, and then I owned a Namco one that had pole position built in. And what was weird about that one was that you had to actually twist the knob in order to get your car to turn. I just thought it was pretty weird. But this one I found for five bucks at the thrift store. And in case you haven't watched my last video where I reviewed the TV, uh, by the way, I'll link that in the description if you guys wanna check that out. But I tried to play this one on that TV to test it out, but sadly it doesn't work with LCD screens. It only works with CRT style TV sets. And this is actually pretty interesting because it does have the infrared, which is kind of on the bottom here, which at first I thought was weird, but it actually works really well. And I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit, but the other thing I find cool is that they put this orange tip here, so it obviously looks like a toy, but they did that back then with like the NES Zapper or the Sega Light Phaser to prevent people from thinking it was like a real gun. So, uh, but they also had attachments here which were just cosmetics. I mean, didn't really add on to the gameplay or anything like that. But there was like a paintball attachment, which went here. And then there was like a CO2 tank, which went here. So what's also interesting about this plug and play is that you can actually run this off of an adapter, which uh, that's where that goes. And supposedly what it says in the instructions is that you can go to like Radio Shack and, you know, find an adapter easily. But I, I don't know about that. I mean... I'm just using AA batteries and it does take four of them. So it's obviously missing the cover, but I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up right away and show you guys some gameplay. So whenever I start a new game, sometimes I like to go through the menu just to kind of mess around with it. And the menu here is pretty basic. I mean, nothing too crazy. Um, what's cool is that it actually lets you save like multiple profiles. So, uh, that was pretty neat, but there must have been like a hundred profiles because I seen like a bunch of high scores. And then when I try to make a new game, I, I couldn't make a new game. So I had to go and delete like all the saved profiles before I can even start. So the first two levels were basically feeler rounds. And while I was playing the game, like it basically just let me get a feel of the controls. And I think they did a really good job here actually, because I gotta say for something that I bought for like five bucks, like, you know, obviously it's cheaply made. It's kind of like a kid's toy. And I thought that like by the infrared being like at the bottom of the trigger, it would, you know, the aiming would be shit. But honestly, the aiming was really good. I honestly couldn't even believe that I only got like 25% accuracy because obviously, you know, I'm a terrible ass shot. But no, like in some cases though, I was capping like three or four of the bitches at the same time. like. It was crazy. Like, the aiming is surprisingly beautiful. I mean, if you compare it to, like, if you ever heard of the light gun for the Atari XCGS, I mean, I'm sure most of you probably have, and that's because I'm a huge nerd when it comes to this shit. Uh, <laughs> that gun, I, I don't personally own, but I hear that that gun kind of uh, isn't accurate, per se, but this is definitely better than that. And I'm not shitting you when I say this game is actually better than Duck Hunt. I'm not... I'm being serious. This is actually better than Duck Hunt. Now, Duck Hunt has this, like, arcade feel to it. And this does, too. But this has more variety. So you have, like, a little shop. And, you know, as you go along and, you know, progress through the game, you have upgrades. For example, you get, like, a better gun. You'll get, like, more paintballs. And you'll get more oxygen in your tank. The challenge is, while you're, you know, capping everybody's ass in the field, at the same time, you got to watch your oxygen tank. Uh, which is on the top right hand corner. So if that runs out or if you run out of ammo, you're fucked The nice thing is this game actually gives you unlimited tries Well, actually it gives you three tries before you have to start all over again um, And that's actually a reasonable challenge. I mean, I can live with that The only thing I will say about this game though is That the music is just extremely repetitive. I mean, it's the same music like throughout the entire game I mean some people might not be a fan of the big cartoony graphics, but honestly I don't really mind the cartoony graphics. I mean, this is actually like better than what I expected, you know, for it being a kid's game. 
and the difficulty especially like the difficulty i didn't even imagine it being <laughs> this hard for a kids game and i was even you know saying to myself like how is this suitable for kids i mean just imagine if your parents were to pick this out for christmas or your birthday you know when you were 10 years old and you know the first two levels were a breeze and then all of a sudden when you get to level three it's like oh shit you know it's a fucking nightmare <laughs> trying to beat the damn thing so basically in the third level you have to defend your base and it kind of confused me because there's this radar that was that's like on the top left corner so i was kind of confused as supposed to like what that's even telling me so like the arrow like it's pointing like right and down i'm like are is that where my enemies are so i'm like you know going right going left and, and you know it'll randomly get me to the bottom which i i found out that once the enemies are about to take over your fort that's when it automatically gets you to the bottom and then you have to kill them <laughs> so the funny thing is in level three like there's these chicks that are like ducking under you can clearly see their head and you can't shoot them like i'm trying and trying my best to shoot them and you have to wait for them to pop up and then i can cap these bitches in the pussy i actually did cap one of these bitches in the pussy i'm not gonna lie i thought it was pretty hilarious but the other thing i found funny too was that like when they're hiding like in the back by the trees like i can cap them like that's no problem sometimes i take me a couple shots other times i just cap the ass like one two three like bow, you're done but no like once they get close on your ass ready to take over your fort and her head is like sticking out like you can't even shoot them like what the fuck the other thing i took advantage of too was uh, now there's this button by like the the handle right so if you hit that button you basically can like shield yourself which I actually found to be extremely helpful in the later levels, by the way because in the later levels like these guys they shoot at you like crazy and i'm like over here ducking and dodging trying my best to avoid getting shot and there were actually some cheap ass moments and that's the part that got me pissed especially on level six too Ooh, don't get me fucking started on level six bro but once i got through level three i you know levels four and five weren't really that bad so level four it's kind of like the same as like level one and level two so it, it's just more challenging so this is where you actually get to uh partner up with your teams so you have to help your teammate shoot down the other guys and there's probably got to be like hundreds of like the same people levels four and five weren't that bad but once i got to level six that's where i really started getting fucked i could not for the life of god figure out how to beat level six so okay the objective of level six is you have to capture the flag by capturing the flag you also have to like protect your own flag if that makes sense so like for example like if you see like the lights on top so if it blinks red that me and if it blinks red there's a timer that goes off so if that timer goes down to zero you're fucked that means they capture your flag so you basically have to shift back into that area to cap everybody and then you progressively move on to the next area and so forth i mean it's pretty self-explanatory but at the same time what's also a bitch is that you have to keep in mind of your co2 tank and also your ammo too so cool thing is that when you run out of ammo they once you get down to like 15 bullets or so uh the screen when you'll hear some sort of sound go off saying you have to reload so that's actually really helpful and especially when you're about to run out of uh, oxygen in your co2 tank that's actually really helpful too that it kind of beats to let you know oh hey by the way you're running out of co2 you're running out of ammo you might as well reload or get some of that co2 and you actually get some of that stuff by like shooting down boxes which you know they take a couple shots by the way which is kind of annoying but i couldn't figure out how to get past level six until i realized that once you reach the very end there's got to be like a hundred of these guys like coming at you it is insane i was fighting for my life trying to beat this fucking level until i realized that there's this big box you have to keep shooting down and once you shoot it down and don't even tell me don't even ask me how many shots it took to get this flag down but i was like whew, thank god i beat that level because that level was kicking my ass whew, man level seven was a breeze i mean pretty much all it is is you know it's just another team match you know just you know back of your homies you know cap these guys pretty easy uh and then level eight is insane but not as insane as level six was so you know i'm wondering to myself do i really have to shoot 200 to 250 guys jesus fucking christ how did they get 250 people on the same you know what i'm not gonna even question the logic of this game 
you know, because whatever. I'm just trying to shoot all 250 people, helping my other 250 teammates. I, you know, I gotta wonder what in the fuck were they planning? How the shit was planned? Like, how did they even get this shit all mapped out? I mean, this had to have cost like hundreds of not thousands of dollars to get, you know, all the gear for everybody. I mean, you could argue, oh, well, they probably went to the store and bought all the gear. I mean, yeah, that's bullshit. I mean, come on, how the fuck do you get 500 people on the same goddamn platform? You know, now I gotta shoot 250 people. This is insane. I mean, this is literally a test of Ondor for this game because at the same time, you have to keep in mind your oxygen tank and your, your freaking bullets. I keep on saying that, but that's like the theme of this game. Like, I was basically fighting for my life trying to beat this game. But once I did, the biggest fuckery of all, th th there's no credits, right? There's no congratulations, no gift, no nothing. It's just, oh, you beat level eight, now you're done. What the fuck kind of shit is that? I mean, bro, you couldn't make a credit screen? Really? I mean... If I gotta if I gotta be honest with you, bro, this is like common sense with every video game. Like by the time you beat the game, there should be a credit screen. You spent so much time, so many hours, busting your ass, but no, seriously, I would recommend you go out and buy this thing and try it for yourself. You will definitely spend a couple hours playing this game. This is actually a good, a fun, and challenging light gun game at that. It's not perfect, it's not the best, but underratedly it surprises you and it definitely surprised me i didn't even think i would be spending this long on a light gun game but anyway that's my review of the mission paintball tv game and i hope you guys like it if you guys enjoy definitely like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think i'm definitely coming out with more bangers so you don't want to miss them and as always i want to thank you guys for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next